In film history, there are some iconic twists, from Star Wars to Sixth Sense to Fight Club. However, there was one that when I watched it, it was so shocking and disturbing that to this day it has stuck with me as well as with audiences, and that's the Korean film Old Boy. Old Boy is a film that I would say is almost perfect, from the acting, the cinematography and just the overall filmmaking itself is genius. Just for example, look at the corridor fight scene, which is one of the most creative and unique scenes ever filmed, and has influenced so many pieces of media that have tried to copy it. The film follows Ode Su, a man who was kidnapped for no apparent reason and is held captive for 15 years, in which he has become deranged and revenge driven. Along the way he befriends and enters a relationship with a girl named Mido, who he meets in a restaurant. Now, the film's main villain, Lee Woo Jin, seems to want revenge on Ode Su due to the fact it's found out that Ju Win and Ode Su went to the same school, in which Ode Su caught Ju Woo Jin and his sister having an incestuous relationship, later ending up in his sister committing suicide due to a false pregnancy, thus wanting revenge on Ode Su. However, Ode Su arrives at Ju Win's penthouse and figures out what Ju Win wants, thus telling him and explaining to him why he wants revenge, which in the film he had a set time limit, he had to figure out why he was kidnapped and put in prison. However, Ju Win starts to tell Ode Su that he began hypnotising him since he got out of the prison, due to him being very susceptible to hypnosis. And starts telling him how he strategically planned everything to happen like this, from controlling his mind through a cell phone ring, him going to the restaurant, and that if he were to touch the woman he loved, he would collapse. 한편 미도는 그 말을 하는 남자를 향해 어떤 행동을 하도록 되어 있었고요. 미도에게 손이 잡힌 당신이 할 행동은 물론. And then tells Odessa he was asking the wrong questions the whole time. And in a massively done scene, Wu Jin, now fully dressed, uses a laser pointer, but points to a big, elaborate purple box. Odyssey walks over to it, and we see Mido, his lover, looking at a pair of wings. And then the twist finally happens. Now, this twist is still as shocking and disturbing as it ever is. Now, largely due to the fact of the out of nowhere nature of it. Despite that, you would have be you'd have to be a very observant viewer to figure it out. Due to the only really big hint being Orisu when he meets Mido, he says. <laughs> The twist is pulled off perfectly, and is so shocking that changes the entire point of the film, like all good twists do, as now it's a revenge story, the person getting revenge being the main villain. And the scenes after are incredible, and so visceral and depraved, it really adds to the weight of the twist. The acting from Cho Min Sik is just top tier, from licking the shoe to the phone call to Mido, in which you really feel the terror in his voice and body language. <laughs> Now, 
And what makes it great is that the film also doesn't entirely rely on the twist. Now yes, the point of the story is the twist, however you can watch the film multiple times and take a different, more complex understanding of the twist, which I think is a problem for other films. Take for example Sixth Sense, which to many other people you can only really watch for the twist and after that maybe watch it once again. However, Old Boy, even after the twist is so great and works so well, even without the twist, as a total fantastic film that in some ways started the Korean wave of cinema. For example, the film has been stated by its director, Park Jean Wook, to be almost this Greek tragedy about Epidus, who in Greek mythology was a Greek king who fulfilled a prophecy that he would end up killing his father and marrying his mother, thus destroying his family and city. Or is so clearly paralleling Oedipus, thus, which is reinforced by a shot of Lee Wu Jin doing a very strange yoga pose, which is supposed to represent Apollo, who was the person that revealed Oedipus' prophecy. Another parallel being the fact Oedipus takes his eyes out in order to not see the world, while Odysseus cuts his tongue off and then hypnotises himself at the end of the film. And probably the last thing to me being the fact it differs from the manga, which is a book that is very great until the ending, which in my opinion ruins the story as the twist is very dumb and it doesn't make that much sense and it's just horrible, horrible, horrible. However, the film surpasses the manga, possibly being the only adaptation to totally pass the original source in every way and make it a much better story with a much better, more satisfying ending. So overall, I believe that Old Boy is one of the greatest revenge films, and just films, of the decade and of all time. It has the best and most shocking film twist I've ever seen. It's genius, disturbing, depraved and brilliant.